Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markey of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. And like I said, I'm, I'm trying to uh, bring the whole story of uh, Easter, his passion, his, his uh, trial, and then his crucifixion, and then resurrection. I'm trying to bring it into a little bit of perspective. Easter is not just an event. Easter is a principle field event, an event field with multiple principles. Here's a typical example. And so I'm covering from, from Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John on all the different aspects of Easter. Do you remember when Jesus was going to Jerusalem and then he asked for, um, he, he asked for a donkey? And the Bible says that when he sat on the donkey and then uh, the people began to shout, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Right. Well, this morning, my uh, uh, message is titled, Don't Stop My Music. Don't Stop My Music. Please don't stop my music. Now Jesus is riding the donkey and he's going there. And then people started shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna. And they were throwing their garments on the street. And uh, uh, of course, you know, we, we do it. Uh, we say, Hosanna, Hosanna. And all those when we were kids walking around with the palm fronts. Then the Bible says some people were very troubled. And they came to Jesus and they said, can you stop the people? Can you stop the people? And then Jesus said, no, I can't stop it. I don't stop because if I stop them, my father will raise stones from the ground to praise. Now here is the interesting thing. There was some good music. Jesus was being applauded. He was being appreciated. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. I mean, people were excited at his listening. And they were congratulating him. They were clapping and applause and appreciating him. And they were saying it out loud. And then somebody comes out. Some people come in and say, stop the music. Don't let them sing. Don't let them shout anymore. Come on. Don't stop somebody else's music. Let them praise him. Let them, let, them, let them shout praise. Let them appreciate the person. Let them celebrate the person. And sometimes we are filled with jealousy and envy and sometimes hatred. And as a result of that, we don't want the person's music to play on. We don't want the person's music to play on. We, we'd rather like to stop the person's music. And we want to do it. We give various reasons for it. Hey, excuse me. Right after the Hosanna is going to come crucify him. So the Hosanna is coming with the crucify him. So allow the man to enjoy his music because further down the line, he's going to have a, a very torrid time, very horrible time. So sometimes, you know, people, there's music about them, there's celebration. Allow them to celebrate and allow them to be celebrated because there's something coming ahead that you don't have, you have no idea what it is. And so sometimes, let's appreciate their celebration and of course we would appreciate their crucifixion. But that's just what it is. Don't stop somebody's music. Allow the music to go on. Because you may, may not know. But that may be the last time that person will be celebrated and applauded in the, in the kind of way that person was. By envy and jealousy and our discomfort that others are being celebrated. It is something that is with humanity. Why? Allow that person to be celebrated. Allow that person to be applauded. Allow that person to feast on his system. Don't accuse him of pride. and Don't accuse him of ego. No, he deserves it. That person deserves it. Why are we so filled with jealousy, envy, and every evil intent when others are being praised? When others are being lifted up? Come on, let them go up. Let them be lifted. Let them be celebrated. It's their time. Because everyone has a time and a season. There's a time to cry and a time to laugh. If it's their time to laugh, allow them to laugh. And if it's their time to cry, you also allow them to cry. In fact, join them when they're laughing and then enjoy them when they're crying. That's one of the things that I've found. Stop the music. And here's what God said. Here's what Jesus said. If you don't, if you don't allow them to, God will raise up stones. So you know what? God always has a backup plan for the celebration of his people. He always has a backup plan. If you won't celebrate the person, and if you don't, if you don't want to applaud the person, God has an alternative. God has alternative. Stones are going to come from, and you see stones, you don't know where they are coming from because they are everywhere. So Jesus was saying the possibility of him being praised can come from everywhere. And that's one of the things that we need to do. Please don't stop your brother's music. Don't stop your friend's music. And of course, you dare not stop my music. 
because my father has a backup plan. See you later.